What up, Screen Fiends? I'm GB, and you're tuned in to Screenheads TV, where we like to discuss all the wonderful things appearing on your movie and your TV screens. All right, so this episode is going to be another MCU cosmic discussion. Um, and th in this one, we're going to talk about uh, Infinity War, the movie. And uh, the possible storyline, the possible route that I think they're going with the storyline. I don't want to call it predictions because, um, you know, I'm getting this from news from the, the movie, from what I know about the production and things that maybe like Kevin Feige or James Gunn have said. Um, in public and you know I'm kind of just piecing it together and the little knowledge I know of this storyline in the comics um, I do know it but I, you know I never I don't believe I've ever read the whole entire thing it's long there's a lot of pieces that go to it so I don't think I've ever, ever read the whole entire thing all the way through um, and I don't really read comics as much anymore and I know they're basing some of this storyline off of newer stuff I'm not going to say new, new, but newer. Like the Black Order, I believe, is going to be a big part of this movie. And I don't believe that they were introduced until, you know, later, like more recent. So, all right, here we go. So this movie is going to, taking off what Kevin Feige said about Thanos' involvement in this film, that he's going to play a major, major role. Um, and because I think they hear the fans complaining about villains and they don't want to fail on this villain they've been building him up for you know how many movies you know what i mean so thanos's presence has been felt for a long time they can't fail on the villain so i think we're gonna this first movie here infinity war we're gonna get a heavy focus on thanos now people may disagree with me on how i think this is all gonna go down but i really really highly believe that this is the way it's gonna happen now, maybe not exactly, but somewhere along the lines of this. All right. So, I believe in the, sto in the movie, probably in the very beginning, I would imagine, like pre-credits, but maybe somewhere else down the line, we're going to get a little quick backstory on the creation of the gauntlet, or gauntlets, if they're going to make the second one in Odin's thing like a real thing canon, because I believe it was just started to be a small Easter egg, and people, you know, the way we are, fans, we pick everything apart. It didn't fit in their plans for the storyline. But maybe they'll somehow rework it. Marvel's good at that type of stuff. So, all right. Anyway. So, I think we'll get a little bit of backstory. And we'll get a mishmash character of Pip the Troll and Eitri the Dwarven King. He's the one that creates the Infinity Gauntlet. So I think we'll get a quick little backstory of Thanos and Hela, but maybe not. Maybe we'll just get a backstory of the Infinity Gaunt being, Gauntlet being created, and then later on through dialogue or something, maybe through another flashback, we'll get the Thanos Hela thing, the Thanos that the Thanos blam all over the Thanos death thing. Um, cause I totally think that's where they're going with Hela is she is deaf also. And I do think they're going to make Thanos in love with her, but they're going to go deeper with that and make it so that maybe Thanos can't die and he wants her to bring her, him to death or Thanos has something where his soul, uh, he has no soul or, or his soul is so corrupt that it can't be taken. Something like that. And I think you know, that's all going to tie in to the storyline here in this movie. Um, so, yeah, so we'll get that. And then I believe we, what we're going to have is it's not going to be like everybody all together on Earth fighting Thanos and uh, his evil forces. It's going to be Thanos sending out his Black Order to collect the Infinity Gems. Stones, sorry. <laughs> So, um, so I like first, I think he's gonna go like maybe to Xander and he's gonna get involved with the Guardians somehow in there. Maybe he'll even destroy Xander or, or a big portion of it or something like that to get the uh, the Tesseract. But then he'll, you know, he'll get the Tesseract. And then, uh, maybe then, you know, still he's fighting the Guardians, you know gets the ether from the collector or maybe he already got it maybe he goes to the collector first but that's what i think the first half of this movie is going to be dealing with is uh thanos and the black order in space getting the tesseract 
I mean, I'm sorry, not the Tesseract, the 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 orb from Xander, the uh, ether from the Collector, and the Tesseract and possibly Soul Gem from <clears throat> from Asgard, or maybe he'll even get those at the end of Rag Ragnarok somehow. But yeah, that's where I think they're going with the first half of the movie. It's going to be like the cosmic half, and then he's going to come to Earth to get the remaining two stones, the Mind Stone in Vision's head and the Time Stone around uh, Doctor Strange's neck right now, currently. Um, yeah, so that's where I believe the second second half of the movie is going to go. And the Guardians will probably follow them to Earth, and that's how the Guardians get to Earth. All right, now where will the story... Oh, and Pip the Troll, I believe, is going to be played by um, Peter Dinklage... He probably won't be called Pip the Troll. They'll probably just call him Eitri, not even the Dwarf King. His name will probably just be Eitri. Um, and now I think he's going to play a small role in Infinity War, but a bigger role in the following movie, and possibly a, a even bigger role in the whole cosmic story once we get Adam Warlock. I think maybe he's going to be a big part of the Adam Warlock storyline. So, all right, yeah. So that's where I think we're going with the basic flow of this movie. First, Thanos and the Black Order go to Xander or the Collector to get those two stones, Power Stone and the Reality Stone. They get them. Then he goes to Asgard to get the those two stones, the Tesseract and the Soul Stone. Possibly he gets those at the end of Ragnarok, which is a high possibility. But right now, let's just say no. So that'll be in the first half of the movie. Then the second half, he comes to Earth to deal with the Avengers. Now, I know what you're going to say. They're not going to wait the whole for, you know, first hour of the movie to introduce the Avengers. Well, maybe they will. You know, they're doing something different. But they can always have, you know, cuts and, and, and just flashes back and forth to Earth and what's going on there with the Avengers. Have some sort of inner turmoil going on there. Um, maybe Thor is visiting them, telling them about the stones, telling them about Thanos, so they're preparing for it. Uh, I could definitely see that, because I, I think in this movie we're going to see the start of the Illuminati form. Uh, I don't think they're going to be a fully formed thing in this movie, but I'm, you're going to start to see that, where these people are going to, these the greatest minds in the Marvel Universe are going to get together. You know, it'll be Stark, Strange, maybe Pym, uh, Black Panther and possibly even Banner. He's one of the great minds too. And uh, I think I know where his storyline is going with Hulk. So I think I can say it here. Fine. I'm, I'm going to do a separate video about it though. But I think um, him and Hulk, Banner and Hulk, are going to start to kind of meld to where when he turns to Hulk, he's going to have a brain and think like Banner and be smarter and more controlled. Uh, and I think that change is going to happen in Ragnarok. He's going to actually... That's going to be part of Hulk's storyline throughout Ragnarok. Um, and maybe it happens because Loki or somebody me messes with his head. That's possible. All right. Um, mm -mm, so, all right, yeah. So then they, they're going to go to Earth. And they're, you know, the final battle, of course, is going to be on Earth after those two uh, stones. Now, Thanos isn't at full gauntlet... Uh, power but he has some stones so we're gonna see some cool abilities because you can imagine that Thanos knows how to wield the stones if he's out you know looking for them to put them in the gauntlet right and I think that's gonna be a through line all the way through it through Thanos story is somehow through dialogue through flashbacks somehow we're gonna learn about Thanos's journey uh, even up into the war, why he wants the stones, what he's trying to accomplish. Of course, we're, he's going to be a main focus. He's going to be the main star of this movie, I believe. I truly, truly believe that he, that Thanos will be the main star, the main character of Infinity War. The first one, not the second one. He's going to be the main villain. In this one, yes, he's a villain, but he's going to be the main character. We're going to get a lot of character development from him and all that, but we'll still see the characters that we know and love. All right, so now he's on Earth. The Guardians follow him there, and now we get the gar the, the great stuff that we're going to get between the Guardians and the Avengers and that whole dynamic mishmashing, and we're going to get some epic battles because he'll probably have the whole Black Order there at once with an army probably of maybe remaining Shatari. Hopefully Red Skull somehow will be involved in all this. I really, really hope, but that's probably wishful thinking. 
Um, but I would love to see that, that Red Skull is part of Thanos' army and now he's back on Earth. So he ditches Thanos by the end of the movie. And then, you know, we can lead into our Masters of Evil storyline and do it right. I would love that. Okay, I know a lot of you would love that too. All right. Um, so then we're going to get this epic battle for the final two stones. And I do believe that Thanos is going to get the final two stones. from, Or maybe... Because I can't see him getting the final two stones and then not destroying the world. I just can't see it. And then how are they going to get the gauntlet off of him? I just can't see it. So what I'm thinking is that maybe they defeat Thanos and get the gauntlet. So now the Illuminati has the gauntlet, which they event I think they have it right now in the comics, actually. So now the Illuminati has the gauntlet and all of the stones. Which leads us to our next movie called Infinity Gauntlet, where either Thanos comes back or maybe they're saving that for a future movie where Thanos comes back for the gauntlet. But I don't think so. No, 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 no. Because fans will be angry. So the next event, Avengers, Avengers movie, because I don't think they're going to market these as Avengers. I think they're going to call them Marvel's Infinity War. And, and maybe they'll call it Avengers Infinity War, but I don't know. Because it's more than just the Avengers. So I think it's going to be Marvel's Infinity War. And this next one is going to be Marvel's The Infinity Gauntlet. Where it's going to focus heavily on the gauntlet. We'll probably even get more backstory to the gauntlet. I believe Idri will be a, a major player. Maybe he comes to Earth for the gauntlet. Or maybe the team ventures out in space. That's probably more likely that the Avengers will venture out in space. And the one following. But I'll do a whole other video about Avengers, Avengers 4. At a later date. This one is about Avengers th Avengers 3, Infinity War, right? So, um, so yeah, I do believe Vision will die. Um, is he going to die in Infinity War this one? No. Because I don't think Thanos is going to complete the gauntlet in this one. He's going to come back in the next one for the completed gauntlet and all the stones at once. It's going to be like, to, in his mind, shooting fish in a barrel. That's what I think, personally. Um, and then uh, I'll talk about that at a later date because then I think Avengers 4 is going to be this epic destruction movie because um, we'll have all the characters in place and we won't have to do any explaining or any exposition, you know, when you get to Avengers 4. So, um, yep. So, and the Black Order may be destroyed. Probably not, at least not all of them. I'm sure some of them will get killed because look, this ultimately, the, the heroes have to win. No matter who the focus is, no matter how the plot is supposed to play out, the heroes have to win. You got to end it on a somewhat positive note, even if it ends with, well, Thanos is still out there and, and we didn't kill him. And now, he, you know, he could come back at any moment. And that's what I think is going to happen. That's how I think it's going to end, where Thanos is going to end up being defeated and losing the gauntlet somehow, probably by the use of the time stone and the, and the mind stone. They're going to use those two stones to defeat Thanos with his three stones. How exactly is that going to happen? I don't know. But I'm excited to see how it's going to play out. And I would imagine that any characters that die in this film may be brought back because they can do that now with with having all the stones. So even if Vision does die in this film, like maybe that's part of the climax where Thanos rips it from his head but somehow Doctor Strange turns back time and rewinds everything. That's how I can see it playing out. And, uh, yep, I'm excited. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I got down here. So, yeah, we'll see the Illuminati get formed. Um, we possibly will see Vision die. Thanos will be defeated, but the Illuminati will have the gauntlet by the end of it. I truly believe that. And the, the movie after will be Avengers Infinity Gauntlet. Um, yep, so we'll definitely get plenty of Thanos, tons of him, if I'm right. And we'll get the Black Order, which should be really cool. And hopefully we get back some, uh, you know, uh, some, uh, what was I going to say? Some Red Skull. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yep. So that's how I definitely think it's going to play out. I think I covered everything and that's how they're going to bring it all together. And that's how they're going to have, you know, all these different characters. Because think about it. When they come to Earth, they're going to be searching for the stones, so they'll be going all over through, you know, the whole, the whole planet probably spread out looking for the stones, and then eventually everyone will come together. I'm sure that's how it's going to play out. By the very, very end, everyone will be together, but as far as the whole movie plays, they're going to be split up. 
I guarantee it. Even when we get to Earth, they're going to be split up. They're not all going to be together. We'll get, you know, some of them in New York battling, uh, you know, Korvac or whoever, whatever Black Order member. And then we'll get some, we'll get Black Panther and uh, maybe Winter Soldier in Wakanda. And, and we'll get some Black Order there. That's where, how it's going to play out. I, I, I can almost guarantee it. I don't want to be as bold as to say I guarantee it. But I almost guarantee that's how it's going to play out. All right, that's my my feelings for how Avengers Infinity War, Avengers 3, is going to play out um, leading into uh, Infinity Gauntlet for Avengers 4. So it will be one self-contained movie, like Kevin Feige said, but it's still kind of part of a two-part storyline because the second one will be like Thanos' revenge or whatever, right? All right, uh, so uh, that's it for this video. Sound off down below. Let me know what you think for... Um, my ideas for how Infinity War is going to play out. Or what do you think? How do you think it's going to play out if it's any different than my ideas? Um, I definitely want to hear from you. I definitely want to know what you guys think. And maybe I'll even do a follow-up follow video about your guys' Your guys' about you about all of your ideas. <laughs> um, all right, if you like the video, you like the channel, you're a fan, definitely make sure you like, share, subscribe, help out the channel. I know I get repetitive and say that every video, but um, I just want to make sure you guys understand how important it is to the channel to get those likes, shares, and subscribes. And not only does it uh, help the channel grow, but it lets YouTube know that you guys out there really like us. Okay, um, thanks again. You guys have a great day. That's it for this one. I will see you next time.